So Maya Lin is, um, you know, like you say, an artist who is known for the uh, installation uh, down in Washington, D.C., the Vietnam uh, Veterans Memorial. And um, she has an architecture practice and um, uh, concentrates on environmentally um, uh, kind of respectful, sensitive um, uh, projects. So um, kind of like a, almost land art um, as well as other kinds of structures. Um, so here she's coming back to um, a topic that has engaged her uh, for a long time, uh, water. So um, when you come in here and see these forms, they're actually, these are the Columbia River right here. And, and um, here uh, behind us, she's using recycled silver. So uh, you can kind of see the river going up to Canada and then it, it dips back down. Um, and then and you're kind of close to Portland over here. Um, but uh, by uh, picturing what is um, valuable, you know, or by picturing the environment, it kind of makes it valuable. And then she's using these materials that, uh, you know, that lend themselves to that idea of, of, of kind of wanting to preserve, you know, and protect what, what we have. She's making a piece called From One Into Many and Back Into One. So the action kind of starts up here. Uh, she's looking at Victoria Falls. So that kind of, you know, the, the Zambezi uh, kind of, you know, separates and there's all those islands. And then you can see where it really tightly comes back into the river again where the falls are. Um, so very beautiful. But, you know, she talks about how her father brought home these uh, marbles, glass beads when she was a kid and you know, just kind of fascinated with that. But, uh, you know, um, if she has the uh, the project of kind of you know encouraging biodiversity, uh, you know making people aware of habitat loss and you know environmental concerns, it's it's easy to find uh, a, a problem or issues or environmental concerns for each of the bodies of water that she focuses on. Um, so here, actually, Arthur, you're looking at the uh, Nile Delta. <laughs> and uh, also in recycled with in pins and recycled silver, you have the Nile River over here as well. Um, but for instance, with the Nile, you can see Lake Nasser there, this kind of you know collot of water um, created when they built the high dam. And uh, you know the annual inundation of the Nile was controlled um, at that point in the I think 1970 more or less. But I love the way she uh, she has the uh, you know the, these yeah. marbles going right up to the ceiling. I mean, her work is pretty much always beautiful. Like if nothing mm -hmm. else, it's it's always really yes. gratifying to look at. Yes. Okay, so here um, we're looking at Spanish marble. Um, uh, this is the Arctic, and this is the um, Antarctic. So they're called Antarctic Circle and Arctic Circles. This is looking down from the North Pole. This uh, kind of pin uh, installation. Uh, and I remember from this Jack Shaneman show also she had done a map of the impact of Hurricane Sandy uh, on the New York region. So in pins on the wall you could kind of like make out the edge of Long Island and the, the Jersey Shore and uh, you could see how it went right up into the Hudson. You know, it's really, really interesting way of presenting information. 59 words for snow behind us here and um, a piece called um, Before It Slips Away. Um, over here, uh, referencing the uh, Antarctica. You can see, I think, the, like the ice shelves, you know, you can see them, they're kind of the lower areas there, so, so some of that you kind of get a sense of uh, where things could be going. Do we know, do you know what the material is? For yeah, it's paper, board, and encaustic with aluminum, so I assume that you can see, you know, back there that there's a metal support 